Santiago Bernabeu. It's a one o'clock kickoff. They're calling it the Vermouth Classico. It's not a usual time to be playing a football match of this quality, but what better time, what better occasion as the players trot out onto the pitch than to see Football Club Barcelona visiting the home of La Liga champions, European champions, world champions, Real Madrid. They're champions of all those things, but going into this game, they're 11 points behind the La Liga leaders. Uh, I'm joined once again by Mitchell Salgado and Frank de Boer. Uh, Mitchell, as always, a magnificent atmosphere greeting the players here. Well, great memories for me, and to see the fans like that, it's unbelievable, it's great. You know, they know they have to be behind the players today. It's a special game before Christmas, by the way. I'm trying to recover three points to the different the distance now, to the difference is capital for Real Madrid. Just to uh, confirm the lineups for Real Madrid, Kayla Navas in goal, Carvajal, Varane, Ramos, Marcelo forming the back four. A Solid. surprise for us from Zinedine Zidane, Tony Cruz. Kovacic comes in to play alongside Casemiro in central midfield with Modric wide and up front. Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo and Frank de Boer, we were all surprised by the inclusion of Kovacic today. Yes, yeah, very surprised. Everybody uh, were expecting Isco, of course, or uh, Bale maybe instead of Isco because of his speed and his yeah, good performance normally against uh, Barcelona. But uh, yeah, he wants to play four against four on the midfield, uh, probably. So uh, that's uh, why he chose for uh, Kovacevic with uh, his uh, yeah, energy, his uh, defensive quality. So we, we're going to see it's uh, working out. But uh, I was uh, yeah, preferring for Isco, of course, because uh, everybody, you know, love to see uh, Isco play. Well, the captains are greeting each other with match referee Jose Miria Sanchez Martinez. Iniesta for Barcelona, Sergio Ramos for Real Madrid. The Barcelona lineup, Ter Stegen in goal. The back four, Sergio Roberto, Piquet, there, Milan, and uh, Jordi Alba in midfield. Tony Cruz to take the first corner of the game. Cruz pauses, looks up, swings it in. Oh. Oh. And it's in the oh. back of the oh. net. Oh. Oh. Not oh. counted, oh. it oh. doesn't oh. stand. The linesman's flag was up. But that was a scary moment for Football Club Barcelona. It's the thing that Zidane wanted, for, you know, since the first minute. Pressure is for Ramadi, and they are going out to the pitch, you know, to try to win the game since the first minute. Well, it was Ronaldo but, clearly uh, in an offside position there, it has to be said. No question about the yeah, linesman. Yeah, on, on, the, on the position, so well, Ramadi are trying that. Yeah, well, they've had the first corner, yes. they've had the first, first serious shot. attack, first disallowed goal, first shot on target. Yeah, Looking but it's good. also good, you know, for the public. Here's Marcelo. Spreads it wide nicely to Danny Carvajal. He's going to try a shot. Well, that's something Zinedine Zidane insists on. He likes his players when they get us. We say that always it's always good, you know, to have the to have to get the first shot, yep. to have the first ball. To you know, to four midfielders. He's trying to to outrun, you know, the the Barcelona. Marcelo does brilliantly to find Cruz. Cruz in oh. the box. Ronaldo oh. miscues it, and it's in yesterday to put the ball out of touch, and he's in problems there. He was caught, Iniesta. and he stays down, and he wants attention from the bench. And Iniesta seriously in trouble. Also in trouble there, Cristiano Ronaldo. That was almost a penalty. He, he was practically on the penalty spot, and it's a total oh. air shot. Boys. And the it's challenge there. Let's have oh, a look. It's a miss shot there yeah. with his left. With his left. Completely misses the ball, and it's Carvajal who follows through. And Iniesta is in trouble here. The Barcelona techno medical stuff. Got the wind knocked out of him in that challenge, but he's back on his feet and he's going to be able to continue, what, no question about it. What about it. Gerard Piquet, who seems to be struggling too, or is that just he, getting his breath back? He was just getting his breath back. Okay. He's now all right, ready to receive the ball on the edge of the area. Brilliant defence, Everybody as except Ter Stegen in the Real Madrid half, and that's the first all game. Oh, Floated oh. through the middle, Paulinho! Oh, so it. close, and I think Navas got a touch, yeah. did he? In that case, that's an astonishing save from the Costa Rican. And Barca's best opportunity of the first half so far, it fell to Paulinho, and this is a moment of magic. Paulinho timing the run, Messi sees it, and something has got to give. Modric, Iniesta getting... 
but on this case, we've seen the re replay. They got it right. There's that, that Kalen and a stop. Safe. That is quality. But the pass through from Leo Messi, absolutely. Telly. And then it's being able to pull it off, isn't it? Meanwhile, Marcelo finding Cristiano Ronaldo, driving Modric. in Sergio Roberto. Oh, across the face of the goal. And the also crowd good on his surf. feet. It's a <laughs> marvellous stop there from Mark Ter Stegen. Punch, in the, punch at the air, Simon, as, as he made that save right in front of me. I was at oh. the perfect angle. You could see him punch in the air as he saw it go past the oh. far post. Brilliant stop. That's a handball. It's and there's that gesture, Duncan yeah. McMath's tall back healer. Just couldn't quite find a way to break through there, but Modric oh. over the top for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's on side. Benzema's in the middle. And that will be the linesman oh, no. and the referee looking at each other and deciding it's a goal kick. Well, that's the first time Benzema's really been a threat in this six yard box there. The linesman and the ref didn't want the responsibility for that decision. Modric's ball over the top. But again, another ball in behind Jordi Alba. Yeah. And it's causing a lot of damage, you know, for a uh, football, uh, football, uh, football defense. I think it yeah, came off Benzema. He got it, he got it, got it right. He got, he got it, it right. absolutely spot on. It's a good call. The only yeah. problem is the ref looked at the linesman. The linesman looked at the ref. Nobody wanted <laughs> no. to take the decision. And normally they take uh, away the decision. Arriving to the edge of the box as is Swanev. Messi lays it off for Iniesta. Iniesta oh. gets away there from Luka Modric. In the box, a back healer from Alba to Messi. Messi still gets the cross in Paulinho with a header. Save from Kayla Navas once again. He was wrong footed, pushed it away. That's the second opportunity for Barca. And once again, it's Leo Messi involved in the thick of things. Oh, this one was not so difficult. Though. Well, it was. But he's going the wrong way, surely, yeah. first. It was the first time that we saw a, the real Barcelona. Yeah. Yeah, Jordi Alba's looking confident, and if you give Iniesta and Messi... It, but a bit too late, Ramos with brilliant anticipation. Yeah. Little dink over the top to Marcelo. Marcelo driving oh, across, the and there's Benzema! Oh. Licked off the edge of the post. Lucky. That was Real Madrid, quick on the break. Yeah, Can Fumano he was, was not good defending of Fumano, he was really ball-watching. Oh, you know, just uh, how, how great the cross was, and he was standing still here, you can see it really. You know, he's now only watching the ball, he's waiting, and okay. every time there is so much space behind the last uh, line of Barcelona. And, and Ramadi know it. Yeah. Ramadi know it. Gerard Piquet. But the same, Barcelona is the same, but the, the fullbacks are not that high. So instead, with the outside of his boot, he picks out Ronaldo. Gerard Piquet's with him. Ronaldo. A little step over and another. C gets away from Piquet, tries the shot. It's always going wide, but it's once again Frank. It's Madrid who come out with the more intensity and get the first shot off. I already think uh, Duncan uh, said some uh, good point uh, in the first half about uh, Madrid wants it more, looks like it. Yeah, so yeah. they are more uh, aggressive. Also, you know, because of the tactic, you know. Yeah, he picks out Andres Iniesta. Alba making a run, Iniesta sees him, of course. Alba gets behind him, comes back, and it's uh, not Another the greatest save. shot from Suarez. Well saved by uh, Kayla Navas, but that's, I think, the first time Jordi Alba's been picked out by Iniesta on that left side to get behind uh, Danny Carvajal. In space, Busquets turning away from uh, Tony Cruz. It's so calm on the ball. So very, so it's calm. It's Rakitic bursting oh, forward. Oh. Is that 3v2 now? Here's Sergio Roberto. First oh, time for Luis Suarez. Oh, it's a 3v2. Make it 1 0. Luis Suarez, so questioned so often. And Barcelona. 50% of the goal is Busquets, sir. 50% of the goal is Busquets. And the Bernabeu is stunned. Well, it was so easy when it happened, Frank. Yeah, but the, it was unbelievable. He was under pressure, made the right decision, and he opened the, 
opened the game totally. He, yeah, he's, he was under Play. pressure, you know, surrounded by three, Get you know, Ramsey players putting pressure on him, and suddenly he has the calm to turn around and play a little ball into Rakitic. Rakitic gets the space, and they create a 3v2 with the two center backs, Remedy center backs, and they do it really, really, really great. Rakitic laying it off yeah. to Sergio Roberto, Sergio Roberto well aware they made that the, Luis Suarez the was perfect, there. They made the perfect triangle you have to do when you go 3v2. And Luis Suarez has been questioned so much this see. season. He's obviously physically not 100%. But he scored yeah. 10 Liga goals now. And that, Duncan, uh, is a huge goal for Football Club Barcelona. What's the reaction on the Madrid bench? Um, well, they're obviously disappointed. It's a huge goal for Barca, as you say, and, and beautifully executed. And that also is why Ramos, Sergio Ramos to Kovacic. That's a good play on, says the referee. Paulinho wins it. Here's Messi. Problems for Madrid. Messi, can he get away from Ramos? Ramos does brilliantly to get back. Suarez oh, going for the post. goal, hitting the side netting. Very, very impressive, the defending from Sergio Ramos there. Yeah, he recovered really well. It's not easy to recover when you go Messi in front of it's you. Not. Well, he what wasn't. an astonishing opening 12 minutes to this half. With the right yeah, foot but... blocked by Rakitic, it falls to Swarev. Oh, and Ramos there with a rather naughty one. He's going to yeah. see a yellow card. Now, we were talking about this before. That was very obvious. I want yes. to see the replay here. I think that's a completely deserved yellow card. No, I don't I, think so. You don't think so? No. Let's watch yes. the replay. I think it was, it was within his hands. It looked to me like he saw that. Uh, Let me see. Yes. Oh, yeah, now the red card. Oh, the red card. Red card. Absolutely. To be honest, yeah. Yeah. the referee has been really kind with uh, yeah. Sergio Ramos. I think he's playing with fire, Ramos, knowing the reputation. There is no need to do that. It's not necessary. The ball's going out yeah, for a definitely. throw in or maybe definitely. a. a, a, a... Strides adventurously out of defence and continues the run. Messi picks out Suarez. Suarez chance to kill the game. Oh, Navas again keeps it alive. Danger hasn't gone away. It's Lionel Messi to Suarez. Barcelona hit the post again. Paulinho. It's circus football, but the referee is spoiling the fun. Red card. Carvajal dismissed. This is going to significantly change the plans of Zinedine Zidane to bring the subs on us and if you see a handball in here no complaints sure pass on and didn't finish this, this attack off quicker and sooner as with the first attempt there's no handball in it's a really good save from Carver Hull isn't it no wonder there's no complaints he leaps up well it's, it's needs man but it. I just wonder whether the referee needed to give the penalty if he just held his whistle for a second the goal would have been given. Real Madrid down the man again in a Clasico. Lionel Messi on the spot. The eyes of the world of Lionel Messi. Messi does it again. The record scorer in all of the Clasicos puts Barcelona some distance ahead of the pack in La Liga. They missed one last week against Deportivo La Coruña, and this week he certainly didn't look nervous, did he? Didn't mess about, puts his foot through the ball in towards the top corner. Real Madrid, 1 0, 11 against 11, there was still the chance, delayed the substitutions. Carvajal with a handball, Messi with a penalty, puts Barcelona firmly in control. Not only today, but perhaps. Oh, да, по мне это был самый талантливый футболист, молодой, самый талантливый молодой футболист, с которым я работал. В этом случае, но я думаю, что это подтверждается с нынешним положением его и даже в Реал Мадриде. Понятно, что ему хочется играть больше, но он понимает. В интервью он сказал, что он понимает, в какой команде он находится, поэтому спокойно реагирует на то, что пока не играет так столько времени, что привело, в принципе, к счету 2-0 и к тому, что на одного игрока меньше стало Реал Мадрида. Месси, нету положения вне игры. Мяч под левый, удар! Да, Кейлор Навас продолжает выручать. Продолжает оставаться. Передача налево, Марсела. 
Прострел в руку попадает мяч Сержа Роберт. Вот показывает Мадрид. Но проблема в том, что в чемпионате Испании Реал отстает от Барса. Да, но это не пенальти. Нет, нет, кстати, можно было. Можно, можно было? было, да, да, да. Потому что сзади руки были. Да, то есть не было, не было, рука прижата. То есть можно. Опять передачу искал Марко Асенсио. Понятно, что искал Рональдо. Давай досмотрим этот эпизод. Да, Модрич с мячом. Можно забивать! Выручает Терштеген. Удар Бейла отбивает. Очень тяжелый. И похоже, тоже скорее в противоход. Месси. И рекорд, и победа. И гол. Ну что, с пенальти. Месси. Проходит Марсела. Передача. Удар Видаля. И заползает мяч в ворота. И Алиш Видаль. Записывает на свой счет гол а, классика. А куда была передача с фланга? В центр. На линию штрафной. Вот, вот это ну, лишнее доказательство того, то, о чем мы говорили. Вот эти передачи, потому что защитники, понятно, все жмутся ближе к своим воротам. И обычно, часто. Сейчас мы не будем говорить про то, что Реал Мадрид, там, понятно, что на одного игрока меньше. Поэтому, возможно, не хватало. Но все равно, вот эти позиции, они самые, наверное, опасные. Народ потянулся со стадиона. Сидели, никто не уходил при счете 0-2. Но сейчас все. Сейчас народ понял, что сегодня не их праздник. Сегодня праздник Барселоны. Тут, кстати, продмяч, по-моему, ушел так вообще из-за пределы поля у Месси. По крайней мере, вот у меня сложилось такое Нет, ощущение. может быть, и ушел. Но я думаю, что обращать внимание на это. Из-за этого проиграл Реал Мадрид, но, наверное, нет. При счете 4-0 судья сломал нам игру. Да. Ну, вот. а дальше, видите, удар. На вас тут немножко не повезло. Ну, к нему-то вообще какие вопросы. Ну, а как Месси вот, обыграл вот, Марсел? Вот, вот эта зона, куда Пике отскакивал, куда добежал, добежал Видаль. Вот, конечно же, да, самое опасное. 3-0. Ну, почти историческая победа. По крайней мере, в последние годы, особенно после ухода Гвардиолы, таких успехов не было. Финальный свисток.